Your your job is to AD carry. Your job's not to get kills. Your job's not to snowball or anything. Your job is to put out as much damage as you can. That's your job. Especially in team fights, your your job is to put out as much damage as you can before you die. That should be your only goal. I'm holding on to many things past. To anything that's Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh so this video I am just watching my friend play and I basically am just coaching him. Uh, this is a recording of the game, so I'm going over the game with him. For some reason, you can't hear him and his friend that were in the Skype call, so you only can hear me talking. But it'll start out a little slow, but it definitely will pick up. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys can learn something. It will be a longer video, so if you decide to watch the whole thing, uh, just let me know how I can maybe do these videos better and let me know how I can maybe possibly be a better coach or something. But, uh... Let me know what you think. If you like the video and want more stuff like this, like and subscribe. And hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Who's going to hit level 2 first in this lane? You guys or them? Alright. So you... Mm -hmm. You guys do capitalize on it, but you could have... Um, you guys could have done it better. Alright, Bard. You guys... Like right now... You know, hold on. Oh, Skype. Hey, I need to go on Do Not Disturb on Skype. Because I don't want notifications popping up. Alright, so. <coughs> after. After this minion right here, you know you're gonna hit level 2, right? Because it takes a full wave and then three melee minions for you to hit level 2 in a duel in. So, as. As you kill this. As you kill this minion, you should be working your way towards them. Because Bard already hit 2 because of his XP. But right right now, you hit level 2. You should be right here instead of right here. Mm -hmm. You should be here because you hit level 2. And she's level 1, so you can just easily bully her and she can't, she can't trade at all. Mm-hmm. See now, Bard, Bard hit level two before you because his chimes give him some XP, and he picked up some chimes before the lane. But a full wave and then the three melee minions hit uh, get you level two. So really good players will abuse you by, um, like really good players as their uh the last minions dying that's gonna turn them level two. They'll they'll like be auto attacking you already. Because right here you guys are, I mean you guys do go in now, but. If you were closer to Trist, you could have possibly, yeah. Yeah, because you guys, it works out because you, um, like right, right there it works out because you got, I mean, you did get first blood, but you guys have the level two advantage, so you guys shouldn't have to blow, um, yeah, you, you guys basically traded even in summoners. They blew one more summoner than you. Which shouldn't you guys should be farther ahead? All right, what looking at this right now, what do you notice? What's <coughs> what are you gaining from staying in lane right now? Mm hmm, exactly. So, right now, I, I looked at your. Uh, gold um, at this point I went back and looked and you had like a thousand gold so right now you should back and then you could get a pickaxe and si <coughs> and since this is uh, it's shoving towards their turret so eventually the tower is gonna kill the minions and the uh, waves gonna be coming back to you so but basically right now you gain nothing I'll just do like a simpler version right now you're gaining nothing from staying in lane so if you back, you could get a pickaxe, and then you could just come back with a huge item advantage, and then you can easily just bully them out. Because you don't you don't back until eight minutes, so you stay in lane five more minutes before you back your first time. Mhm. Mm and once it gets to that buy, I'm gonna tell you why I think that buying those boots was bad. Because you like. You guys just stay in lane for a while. And then right now, even though 
once Sona hits level, t she just hit level two. So right now they have the lane pressure on you guys, because you're Um and you're half health with no no potions. So right now they can control the wave. And think about it like this. When was uh, it roughly? It takes about it will take you roughly about like twenty seconds or so to get back to lane. If you if you buy, we'll say like twenty twenty five seconds to get back. So by the time their lane is shoving towards you right now, so by the time you got back, you'd probably be entering back in lane right now. You would have you would have full health, full mana, and a pickaxe advantage. So they. Right here, oh wait, oh it jumped. This is where I looked at your gold watch. Right now you have uh, you have one thousand gold, so you could have easily bought uh, pickaxe and potions. So you definitely should have backed after you guys uh, killed Sona and your wave hit the tower, because right now you would be at um. Right now they should be backing. They don't, but you could be full health, full mana with a pickaxe advantage. So you could, what you should be doing is. You should freeze it here, which you kind of do. Freeze it here, but you can play farther up if you had a pickaxe, and you could just you could just deny them from CSing completely. What are people? Oh, can we go over the mask? Does does that make sense? Oh, it's fine. The thing is with Draven, it's like. You wanted to, it's weird because it's like sometimes you want to freeze, but it's like you want to keep your double axes going, so like. But like, a level two, if you had a pickaxe, Sona's dead, 100%. Like, a level two Sona should not be able to walk into your guys' faces like this and get away with it. So that's that's just one common mistake from uh, lower elos is people stay in lane way too long and they don't back effectively. Because if you ba if if you back if you just backed effectively in this lane, you could have snowballed so much harder. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you should notice that bars are going to be flanking from them, so you should kind of be, you should be cheating up already. You should be in, in range to auto-attack uh, auto them, like, right as he shows up. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think you guys, you guys probably wouldn't have got a kill from that flank. But sometimes you just have to follow up on your support if they're trying to make plays. Because if if you don't, if you just let them do what they're doing and you don't help them, then they're just gonna die by themselves. Sometimes you have to just go with a stupid idea as two people instead of just going going as one. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cause because you never backed. Yeah, if you had a pickaxe, you would have thirty one farm, and she would have like fifteen. Just because you would have, she would have been like bullied. It's either that or she would have been dead. Like <laughs> and then this, you had a second chance to back right here too, so. So I, right now I'm like, okay, he's going to back, right? But if you ever see yourself just walking back and forth like this, this is a ton of time wasted. You could have, you could have been back in base, right? If you just started backing, you could have been back in base right now. Or have your items and walking back to lane. And you had, a, you had 1800 gold, so you could have bought, you could have bought a long sword, or not a long, what am I saying? You could have bought a BF sword and like boots or BF sword and like long sword or something. BF Sword Longsword probably would have been the best buy, and then you could have bought potions with it. I think for first item, you should go Essence Reaver. You did, but you did, but you, like, delayed it a lot. Yeah.
I think that was fine, but it's also you finished your boots. On <coughs> on Draven, on Draven, he scales off of attack damage, where a lot of other AD carries scale off of attack speed. Like, Draven, you basically just want to max out on damage and get, like, some attack speed. That way you're just not auto-attacking really slow, but if you can always get damage, you mainly want to just get damage over attack speed on Draven. I mean, I, I can see why you were thinking that, but I'm definitely, you definitely want to get tier one boots, just get like 300 gold, but then, but then you could have got more damage because Sona is one of the squishy supports. So if, if Bard stuns Sona, she's going to like, if she doesn't have both summoners up, she's most likely dead just because Draven is one of the highest damage, uh, AD carries early game and Sona is one of the squishy supports early game. So And they've they've been playing this like I'll I'll kind of coach you what they should be doing right now like they're in complete they should be in complete control of this land right now just on this level six you're six but you have what like you have eighty mana so your ult's not even relevant and then Bard is on about eighty mana and he's like ha you both are half health they're both full health and they have mana and all their summoners basically I mean you guys have summoners too but. They should know Bard has no exhaust, and they should know they have exhaust. And that's, like, huge. They should literally be standing... Sona should be in this bush right now. Tristana should be up here. And you guys should be zoned at, at, <coughs> at your tower right now. Like, this... This was so... This should you You were dead. <laughs> you were, if you weren't dead, you blew both summoners. Like, the, Tristana should jump right now. Or, or not even jump, not even jumped right now. Just like put your per who. Yeah, she should. Right, what happens? Okay, so what happens? She jumps. Bard exhaust probably stuns her, but like her E's already on you, and then she probably be able to like flash auto ult or something like. That was, that was painful. You were either you were either dead or you guys. Oh, never mind, Bard had no exhaust. You were dead regardless. Even if you healed, there was no way you were going to live that. And then even right there. Even right here. She, <laughs> like, she, I don't care if she goes ballsy. Bard has zero mana. She can literally jump, tower dive you, jump out, and nothing happens. Like, she, she gets a kill, and then she denies you all the CS. I'll I'll tell you though against against good players you would not be able to get this close to the minions right now you wouldn't that just would not happen and then they literally would be I good players would die good players would 100% dive you right now there's no reach there's literally no counterplay to them them diving you I'm yeah if Bar does ult then it's like <coughs> Then they just stop the dive and then wait for more minions and dive again. The only thing is if Shen was there, but I don't, how does Shen have 13 CS? I mean, he has three assists, so I mean that's that makes more sense. But and even if, I'm not sure, I haven't really been looking at where the junglers have been this game, but. But yeah, this backing is fine, but this back is horrible compared to the chances you had. Yeah, you could have, you had two chances. Both, both is when you're, all right, because generally if your wave hits their turret, you back because by the time you get back to lane, their lane's going to be coming at you and you're not going to miss very much CS. So like, think about it like this, if, 
whenever you push a lane, eventually the lane is going to come back to you. And the point at when it comes back to you is when a tower or a champion um, kills kills your minions to push it back in your direction. If that makes sense. And then I'll tell you, you had 2,400 gold, okay? So you buy a pickaxe, so you have 11, yeah, you have 1,100 left. So you should have bought, um, you should get bought, you should have just bought a pickaxe and then potions. Or not, not pickaxe, uh, yeah, yeah, you should have bought, you should have bought, you should have bought tier 1 boots and then as many long swords as you could and then potions. So, so you... Seven, wait, seven hundred to, th so you should have, right now you should have uh, BF sword, long sword, tier one boots, and uh, health potions. That's what you should have right now. Yeah, you should you should have like one thirty four. You should have like ten more attack damage right now, and then potions. Yeah. And then the fa like Tristana hasn't backed it either. This is like painful. You you backed. She shoved the wave, and then by the time she she still hasn't backed. By the time you got back to lane, this is like this was I don't know. <laughs> I was this this was just the parts that I was like. This was good of you though to push it like this because you know she backed and then did you know she backed right here? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see that's good of you. If if you didn't see her, you wanna you wanna shove like that. I forget. Do you guys kill her? Oh, oh yeah, you do. Okay, you nearly misclicked and killed yourself. This Warwick had the most tunnel. You should with how tunnel vision this Warwick was. You had both summoners. I think you could have made it to turret. Like you should have kept. You should have kept running down. Because, because look where. Yeah. Oh no! What were you saying? All right. Well, if you can, yeah. If pretty much, if you can. If you're able to live from blowing the summoners, then it's worth it. There's there's some rare cases where maybe not, but just for generally, if you can live from blowing summoners, then you want to do it. I know that's also, uh, now it's it's not always worth blowing summoners to finish a kill though. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Now, heal? Yeah. Yeah. No, if you if you can blow if you can blow heal for a kill, it's almost always worth it. Now blowing flash for a kill isn't always worth it. Ex yeah, especially later in the game, it gets more and more um, situational. If you you have to look at it like this: if you're gonna flash for a target in team fights, you have to think about it like this: is am I more important in the fight than them? And if you're more important than them in the fight, then you don't want it's not worth it at all. But if Say they have one person that's completely fed and you're just kind of like average on your team You want to like if you can flash and get the kill then you want to do it It's just a matter of who's more important in that fight. Yeah And like right here you had you bought what is that is that how much gold is that? 900 gold so you would You if you had tier 1 boots you would have that hammer thing I, I think You'd be clo you'd be close to Essence Reaver. I think I th it was just, uh, but I don't know what happens here. Uh, Shannels. Uh, uh, you whiffed your all. Oh, I was. 
Oh god, the fact that you killed Tristan with your ult on the way back. I was... <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh my god. Alright, I'll t <laughs> What? Alright, so bot lane was pretty like, it was a farm fest when like, you guys should have dominated. The fact that Victor's 4-1 and, and has less CS than the Annie is pretty horrible. <laughs> Alright, that was... That did it for me, like, Victor's really good at CSing, and he, like, is good against Annie, and he, w he was extremely far ahead, and he was out CS by, like, 15. I was, that should not happen. Mm -hmm. It is good, though, like, if you have a movement speed on a champion, always use it to get back to lane. You do it, um, you always do it, which is good. It just gets you back to lane faster. Yeah, but right now you definitely would have you would have essence reaver, and then you would you'd have essence reaver your Dorns. Oh, I'm trying to do math, and then so you would have forty two hundred gold with your if you had tier one boots Dorns, and then your essence reaver. So you'd have eight hundred gold. So you would have be able to buy a uh, probably just another long sword. And the you probably could have bought longsword and the attack speed thing to go towards your boots. So you you'd be you'd have a lot stronger power spike right now than the items you have. You should have just walked towards catch your axe and walk towards the sun there. Because worst case scenario, you you still have flash if Tristana was gonna kill you. But Shen was coming too. Or you could have kind of walked up and to the left. That way you could still hit Sona. But you're still also trying to walk away from the Trist. Like one thing that I see, like a lot of my lower elo friends and stuff do. It's like they either they're either fighting or they're running. There's no in between. And you have to you have to learn how to kind of stay far enough away to not be in danger but stay close enough in range to be able to join the fight at any time if that makes sense yeah 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 your your job is to A to carry, your job's not to get kills, your job's not to snowball or anything, your job is to put out as much damage as you can. That's your job. Especially in team fights, your your job is to put out as much damage as you can before you die. That should be your only goal. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you die. If you put out twice as much damage as their A to carry in that fight, then then your death was worth it. Like, that was just that was just one of those points. I saw this and like this. This was the first time where um, you're able to tell. You do that little sidestep, but after, what are you scared of right now? If he ults you, then what ha what happens? Where's his team? Yeah. 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 But if mm -hmm, you sh you should kept attacking him and moving forward, and then you can mate. I'm not sure what happens. Maybe you can get in range to help kill these guys. I'm not sure if they die or not. But because if Warwick ults you, your team's here and their team's there. So he dies regardless, and nothing even happens to you. You maybe lose a little health, but it's not even relevant. And then if I mean if he doesn't ult you, he just dies, and you're in better position to move forward but that those moves like that those are reasons why your damage is lower than it should be later in the game just because like in team fights when you do that it you're you're basically ccing yourself 
by just not deciding to auto attack and fight. Because later in the game, they just walk towards you and you just CC yourself basically by deciding to run. I think you guys could tower here soon. I mean, in this situation, staying, all of you guys staying in lane is like, it's not horrible just because all your lanes are winning. So, I mean, you guys can pressure. The game's about pressure, so if, since all of your lanes are winning, if you all just stay in your lanes in this situation, you're pressuring, like, all the lanes. But, I'm not sure what you guys do. Yeah, yeah. You, I know you guys get the tower here, but then after this, I think you guys just kind of do nothing <laughs> for the rest of the game. Oh. oh, it looks like you guys are gonna fight. Oh, uh, this is why I was changing the volume. I mean, that bard initiation was horrible. If Muda teleports to that fight, you guys win. But, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Mudis, like, if you guys just group as five and shove mid, Victor, like, has a ton of poke and wave, uh, wave control. And then Mundo's, Mundo's huge, so, I mean, it'll take him forever to die. Because Tristana won't really be doing much damage to him at all. And, uh, I don't... Th but Thurster wasn't a good item here. You should have gone IE. Yeah. You could have had a Vamp Scepter. That's fine. But going the full buff is just not worth it. Because you know you're going to be going for um, Mercurials because they have a Warwick. So you know you're already going to be getting life still from that item. And then I going IE I here also um, synergizes with the cooldown reduction on the essence reaver and it gives and it gives you just more damage because you have higher percent chance to crit and if you do crit you just like do so much more damage so you definitely should have gotten ie second item but you could having a vamp scepter would be fine because you need some life still yeah it's a Vamp Scepter is one of those items that you can just sit on for a while and you don't really have to upgrade it all the time. Uh, what was... Oh, you sh... Yeah, you shouldn't be bottom in this situation. Af after that, after you killed those, you should just run mid. Because if your team's grouping like this, you know they're gonna... You know they're gonna fight with or without you. <laughs> it's gonna... It's... <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> in this situation, it was your fault. Although, they shouldn't fight without you. That's wrong of them. But in this situation, you should have been there. Because you're, the bot lanes, it's, without you, it's gonna push towards their tower anyways. So, it's gonna, eventually, they're gonna have to deal with it. But you should have been here just because they're gonna fight with or without you. And you're not, there's no towers here for you to get. So, you're not gaining anything from staying bottom I mean they're also stupid moon does half health so they shouldn't like you shouldn't fight if your tanks already half health I mean I guess he does ult but Shen's not even there they just I don't that's just them being out of position and then Bart wait don't Bart got like a five he got a five man <laughs> wait what I have to see that again. 
he got a five. He didn't hit any of your team. He hit literally five of uh, four of them. But <laughs> Andy, oh my God, what a legend! I take <laughs> I take back every criticism I said about Bard. <laughs> He's a legend. But uh. All right, so he dies right here, right? You guys just saw him die. Why are you guys not? You guys should be being like, "All right, we out. <laughs> See you later, Shine." And you. Get... Yeah, Shine just died right here, though. But it's like, it's not worth the risk, especially since you like you should have known that Sona wasn't gonna ult just for Shine. Like, so you guys should have instantly, you guys should have just been running. Because you guys, you, you guys chased Sona into the three man. You guys chased Sona where you just saw Shen die. So you guys just kind of screwed yourself. And then Victor, he could have easily killed Sona. But he kind of got scared of the Annie. <laughs> uh, I was saying that. Victor right here should have killed uh, Sona because he could have easily walked up. He could have lasered, walked up, and threw a Q or an ult or something and killed Sona and walked out because Annie wasn't a threat to him because uh, he should have known that she used ult. Yeah. But you see, you see bot lane right now, you see how big the wave is. If you, um, if you stop pushing here, the wave would probably be around right here, but it'd be even bigger. So by the, so it would hit this tower when this minion wave was already with it. So the wave would be, um, doing tons of damage to that turret. What do they do? They could have stopped this Baron. If Mundo just walks over there, look. All right, I'm gonna show you that. Like them, st they're literally all on top of each other. They're that's sh literally all Victor has to do is E ult, and then he can use W his W after. Like you, sh they should never be that clumped up. That's just that's just horrible. Like, Victor's huge right now, too. He has, like, good items and everything. Like, an E ult. I mean, he E's. And then he W's. He should have his ult. Like, his ult should be sitting on them right now. And then at that point, they can't really, like... Their carries have to either go into the Baron Pit. Or they have to just walk out. And then Mundo should be right here. And they, they easily could have stopped this Baron. This was... This was just, like, completely horrible by them. Especially since Shen just came up too, like, oh my god. Oh, now Mundo... Now Mundo goes. Yeah, he gets a triple, but... Like, you guys maybe... You guys maybe wouldn't kill all of them, but it's like... They wouldn't have Baron. And then if you kill a few... You guys could If you stop their Baron, you guys could Baron. Alright, I feel like... I think you go and solo drag right here. But your build this game should have been Essence Reaver, IE. Then probably just get a Vamp Scepter. Then you could have just probably sat on Last Whisper and not upgraded it into any of the other Last Whisper. And then, uh, yeah, 30%. 30% 30, 30 of their armor. Oh, it, yeah, bo it is. Does it say bonus? Alright. How it works is, is. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's based off their bonus armor. 
but say they have a hundred bonus armor, then it's then when you when you attack them, it's as if they have seventy armor instead of a hundred bonus armor. And it also works. Your percent applies before you're flat. You don't have any flat armor pens, so it doesn't matter. But say, say they have a hundred bonus armor, and then you have a last whisper. It takes away thirty percent, and then so you have ten armor pen, flat armor pen. It takes away ten afterwards, so it's as if they have sixty armor when you're attacking them. But uh, you definitely like. Exp they already have Warwick already has the armor item. You already you see Renekton's building towards an armor item. You see Sona's building towards an armor item. That you should have went Essence Reaver. Uh, oh, I actually <laughs> Tibber. Uh, Tibber's was about to slap you and kill you. You sh you should just. Especially this AD carry, you just never face check like that. Because you you saw Sona and Tristana top. Wait, no. You only saw Tristana top, and then she disappeared. So, and Shen's here with the ward. He was just in your jungle. Like, the the only place that makes sense for them to be is the bot bottom side of the map. But use... Alright, so look, look, at your, look at the minion waves to kind of give you a general idea where they're at. You see that they have a big wave here, so that means they're most likely going to be bottom to shove for the tower. If that makes sense. Yeah, that... Yeah, I mean, there's... you. Can, I mean, you can get... You can get diamond five off of mechanics if you're just really good, like, I, like mechanically, like you're just really good, like actually playing the game. You can get like diamond five, but like if you take someone with like plat level or like high gold or plat level, uh, like mechanics and just, uh, but they know like a lot about the game and they just know how to punish people for like mistakes, then they easily can get high diamond. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to go too in depth with like all the min with all like the minion waves and like all the like kind of mind games. Did you? All right, I was watching this. I'm gonna I'm gonna post a video on this. Look at this. Look at their ward right here. Okay, it moves. I don't know. It could be a spectator bug. It probably is a spectator bug. It goes from here. It was right. It moves. I was watching this. My, my mind was blown. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if not, you could have bought these same exact items, but if you just, if you backed properly this game, it wouldn't have mattered. You could have bought anything and like you guys could have won easily. You could have bought like all Dorns, like. <laughs> As long as, if you just backed better this game, you guys could have easily dumpstered bottom. What's going on here? They started like fighting like bars initiations are just like <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't focus on you, so I couldn't even see what's happening. Yeah, th now that's one of the situations where you just run. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, yeah. That was one of the situations where you just kind of dip. Wait, wait, never mind. Oh wait, never mind. I thought Mundo. I forgot Mundo was alive. Never mind. I thought I forgot Mundo was alive this whole time. All right. That w yeah, that worked out well for you. I forgot you got a double kill there. And then what? <laughs> <laughs> but this was a bad time to go get raptors. Yeah. 
this was one of the times where it's like the backing is you either you either back after you get the double kill or since you decide to stay this long you just can't back because your team is starting to do plays when uh, Warwick and Renekton were dead so if you guys are all there then you guys can easily kill some you yeah yeah you guys could have killed one or two of them and then just kept they probably would just kept chain dying at that point but you you back and then you you kind of just said fu team and like go ahead and die <laughs> and then victor dies and then this is so oh, this is where they get the second baron right no or do you guys stop them here No, they don't even go Baron. What are they doing? They went Dragon. Oh my! I didn't even. I didn't. I didn't even notice that. Why would they not? I'm. Um, this game is painful. Yep. You should be with your team right now. Alright, right here, you're... Nothing's happened yet. You decide to clear this wave. You should just... if At this point, you should just commit to the push. You give... You you make them have two choices. Either... Attack, fight, your, fight your team and do Baron and have, like... Maybe a few people back. But if only a few people back, then... Uh, they maybe can clean up your team can maybe stop them or They just back for you at this at this at this elo They're either gonna back for you or they're gonna do Baron. They're not gonna split and do both that just that just probably won't happen So like you've already Because there's no way you're gonna get to this fight before anything happens So if you you should just be shoving and then you probably could get turret you definitely would probably get turret and then maybe inhibitor but back in here, just kind of like, you just kind of made yourself useless because you're not, you you could be pressuring bot lane right now, and they could be like, oh crap. Yeah, they probably would because yeah, they would have had it back for you because right now you would be, your minions would, your minions would be hitting, you'd be hitting these minions right here at their turret, and then you'd probably be you'd be attacking turret right now. And none of them have, and I doubt any of them would even see you. <laughs> but you, yeah. If you, yeah, yeah. You sh you should have been with them, with your team at Baron, because at that point in the there's because where. There's no objectives on the bottom side of the map. The dragon's gone, and both of these towers are gone. So the only thing that's really an objective for you guys is mid turret and baron. So you get so you should pretty much always be around mid lane. Only time you should ever go bottom is if there's a really huge lane, and you only should go bottom to clear that wave if they don't have pressure, um, if they can't get baron. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, Bard died though. Bard died, Annie died. But Annie is literally all of their damage. She had like triple everyone's damage this game. Like Mundo should be running down bottom like this Mundo should not be there. I'm pretty sure they're Mundo should be TP. Mundo should have been TP. You should have already been down there like with their with their highest damage threat dead they shouldn't be able to they shouldn't be able to take turrets from you guys if their highest damage threat is dead and that was one of those time here I'll show you how you should have you want yeah, you walk in. You walk to melee range. You should. You should be right here. We. C <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. But you should be right here. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the, you should have. If you don't have the last whisper upgraded into that uh, giant slayer item or whatever, then you should at least just have last whisper because uh, Renekton has an armor item and he's building a second armor item. Warwick has an armor item. Annie is hourglass. Sona has frozen heart. So literally all of them have armor items except for Chistana. So you really can't do much damage without a last whisper. Like you don't, like you, you like did no damage. You don't do any damage to these guys because you don't have a last whisper. I'm pretty sure you just crit him for like a hundred thirteen. Why? Why do I have like a? Probably could have shoved that last wave or something there. Although, uh, that you should always you should be constantly looking at your team's items and the enemy team's items. Just like every few minutes or so, like after every back or something, you can do. I mean, you should do it more frequently, but you should like that. You saying that tells me that you just tunnel on one build and you don't ever change your build up. Is that true or do you ever change your build? Yeah. But after seeing what you built and after you seen that, like it kind of seems like you have like a set a set build in your mind and you just kind of build that regardless which you should you should always uh if you're just not sure just third item always get a last whisper third item and like you can't you can't go wrong with last whisper third item if you're just not if you're not sure what to build and you're building a third item and you don't have last whisper just build last whisper because you went shiv afterwards, too. So you like, you should have a last whisper, and then right. Oh my, Annie just completely. Yeah, I wanted. I wasn't paying attention. I feel like. All right, I wasn't. I wasn't actually paying attention. I want to watch this again. Mm hmm. Right now is not the time to finish Scuttle Crab. But why are you why are you running back? What could what could possibly danger you right there if you were attacking Warwick? Yeah, but you have materials. So you could just get out of it. And, and you do have a bard here too, so. Yeah. But you should, you should, the axe should be, you auto attack him right here, right? You're standing right here. Your axe should be landing here. You should be walking forward because you can see the, you can see the Annie's over here. So there's no threat. And... You should you should have looked and know that Bard has exhaust. You you should know you have your QSS still. So his the Warwick ult literally can do zero. It has no effect on you. There's just so many th ways for you guys to stop it. And then even right even right here he just ulted. Renekton's they're both about to get stunned right because you see the gravity field. They're both about to get stunned and Warwick has no ult. You should just be hitting them for free. There's, and you, and, uh, did your, yeah, you have Zeke's right now, too. So, like, you, sh you could be hitting them for free, and there's no threat. <laughs> if you, but, like, they, they just have so much armor, so, like, 
If you if you have a last whisper here, you could just you could just melt through them right now. And you could like literally and then that just happens and See that was what you did there, that was good. That was really good what you did there. And then Yeah. Mm hmm But you just see like Part of the reason why your damage is extremely low was because you had no last whisper, and you did it. You didn't. If you had the upgraded one that does more damage to people tankier than you, their whole entire team like has more health than you. Like if you if you're hitting these guys, you're just gonna like tear through them so easily. So that's one reason why you didn't have enough damage. You didn't have much damage, but also because you just you just ran when you shouldn't. You just didn't actually hit them enough. I this this game should not be forty minutes long. Their Tristana really doesn't do anything. The only reason why the Tristana does more damage than you this game is because she has the last whisper and you don't. She, I'm pretty sure she did. She just auto attacked even less than you. I'm pretty sure, but she only did more damage than you because she had armor pen and you didn't. Like Victor, she doesn't even have a void staff. If. She, if you're full build and you don't have one of the percent armor pen items or one of the percent penetration items, then you're building wrong. Whether you're playing mid or AD carry, you should always have a percent penetration item. Alright. Uh, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. No, you did you did pretty you did pretty well there. That was what you did there was fine. Because you I know you stayed bottom. This was one of the times where I was like telling you what to do when you couldn't hear me. <laughs> After you like the fact that you guys have three people bottom clearing this wave when they're you guys should you guys should know that they're gonna instantly go to Baron. And you guys have three people bottom kill, killing like a wave. That shouldn't that shouldn't happen because you guys just gave them the free baron. And then you guys push even another wave. I don't know. You start running now. No, you back. That's right. I was like, you you started backing, and I was just I don't know. I was just like, why are you backing? You had full I <laughs> But you uh, You could like you could be with your the fact that they got Baron that's just uh They shouldn't just be able to walk straight from base and get Baron like that. I mean this was just I mean it wasn't only you there, it was your team, like all of you guys messed up there, but you definitely, sh when Mundo and Shen started running, you should have just followed them. You shouldn't have backed. You guys should not be this, like... You guys, like... Even if they don't have fly, there's just no circumstance when you shouldn't be at your tower here. Especially as two people. Like, that just was so... That's so... That's just stupid. Like, how did they not win from this? This should be, this should be over right now. I guess, I guess they do. They don't really have many minions, so I, I mean, 
Alright, they don't have minions, so they could they couldn't end here. Although they could wait for the they can literally just wait for this wave. There's still thirty seconds. Why are they leaving? Team Team Oh my god like Oh Watching watching these games they're just like like there's a lot of mistakes that happens in like low diamond that I play at, but it's just like just stuff that's simpler like simple mistakes don't generally happen. Like think of think of math, like at higher ELOs, like no one's gonna forget what two plus two is. At at higher ELOs, just small things like people don't mess up on. And then like the fact that you're able to just ace them there is just mind blown. Like you guys did everything possible to let them win. This game should have been over at 30 minutes, at like the latest. But, alright, you guys just pushed to win, right? And, this is the damage chart. Alright, let's. The fact that your stall only did 2,000 more damage than you, and she had penetration and you didn't, that just proves how bad of an AD carry she is. What were the builds? Um, I'm gonna look right here. Okay. I was just, I'm, I'm looking at it. For this, alright, so look at the mid lanes, right? The, uh, Victor was 15 and 10, Annie was 13 and 8, right? So they, Annie only had 1,000 more gold than Victor, right? But it was like, they both were full items, basically, so, it didn't matter. But, look at the, look at the, look at the damage difference. I mean, the, there is player skill involved in this, but this is with penetration item, this is with a void staff, and this was uh, without void staff. That, that's, All right, I'll, I'm leaving the call. <laughs> if, if, if you build Last Whisper and upgrade it, you will win probably like 10% more games. Just from just from items, even even like twenty percent more games, even higher percent, you're gonna just win. I've only seen you play Draven, but you're with the Draven. Your laning phase is pretty good. You just don't know when to back. That's that's. Look at Sona. You should. You should not have the about the same damage as Sona or a full tank or Nectin. A Mundo, like if you had Last Whisper, you, you're gonna be you're gonna be like up here in damage. You're you're probably gonna You're gonna be at seventy K damage if you have Last Whisper, I guarantee you. You're gonna be you're gonna be like right here if you have and like third like Alright, so just just for you, build Last Whisper third item regardless of the game. Now on all right on Vayne, Vayne is the like one champion where like you can get away with not going it. Yeah, so just like all right, I'm just gonna like go Last Whisper third item and up you get the full upgraded Last Whisper third item regardless every time you play the carry. And I just want to see the outcomes. I want to look at your damage charts and actually see you like doing more damage than your entire team. But like this is the and also the fact Sona did more damage than Warwick, that's just I don't know. This 
these damage charts are just <laughs> they're just hideous. They're just hideous. This is like and now with the build you had, if you put a good player in your shoes, uh, if, yeah, if you put a good player in your shoes, even with no last whisper, they're. Uh, I'm not saying you're bad, but like, say you put, say you put like a diamond, high diamond person in your um, place, they're gonna have like sixty thousand damage, even without a last whisper. Just because of positioning and knowing when they can attack and when they can't. But and then you throw a last whisper, they would have probably the same as Annie, if not more. But. But yeah, so just build an upgrade last whisper third out of every game, and I guarantee you, you're gonna win a lot more games. Because your laning phase, like what I've seen, your laning phase looks solid. Like on other champions, it's probably decent as well. Draven is one of the strongest laners, but I mean, I don't see your laning phase just getting horrible. Just make sure when you do play Vayne, think of your tumble as a flash. Only use it if you have to. Basically, think of it as a priority. Uh, think of it as a priority system, right? So, just mentally in your head, rank rank each person on their team from a one to five. One being the highest priority, and five being the lowest priority. So then, remember that um, priority system in your head, and then, basically, the closest highest priority target to you. That's who you should always be hitting. If that makes sense. Yes, and then as you as you get um, better, you will be able to understand and visualize when you're able to just run past their tank or when you're able to just completely ignore certain champions because you know their cooldowns are down and stuff like. Just as you get as you get more like just game sense and like you start to understand. Uh, enemy cooldowns a little more and stuff. You're gonna you're gonna be able to just like single out the targets you want better but just attack the highest priority um target um, that's closest to you but you should pretty much always be attacking try to be attacking like 90 percent of the fight because if you're if you're not doing damage you're the it's basically like you're dead <coughs> but Yeah, I be, you had the last whisper. That's why. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're hitting the tanks and doing, and if you're critting for a hundred damage on their tanks, you know something's wrong. <laughs> like that just shouldn't happen. And as they, are you? Is your support still in there? And <clears throat> kind of think, think of the priority thing. The same for support later in the game. Just protect the highest priority. Uh, just mentally in your head, put a priority list on who's the most uh, valuable on your team and who's the least valuable on your team. You, you being, you should be like the fifth almost all the time for the valuable for the list since you're the support. But use all your stuff to save like the highest priority um, person on your team. Alright, thank you everyone for watching. If you want more content like this, like and subscribe. And make sure to leave a comment down below giving me feedback and let me know if you guys learned anything. So, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. I'm holding on to many things past. To anything.